take your pen That be my kind But it ain't gonna do the trick Give a little love Squeeze out a little kiss Give a little hug I want some more of this Take a little time Yeah, make a little fun That's what a woman wants so Give a little love Get this, you can be some big honk, handsome, dark, and tall. Talk to me in foreign tongues, wear the southern draw. But be a man, oh, so I am, wear a pointed hat. I don't care how you look, cause that ain't where it's at. Give a little love, mm -hmm. squeeze out a little kiss, give a little hug. Mm -hmm. I want some more. Take a little time, yeah, make a little fuss. That's what a woman wants. So give a little love. Now, hey, you know what we're talking about, girls. We want the real thing. There are men who'll turn your head and knock you off your feet. Sweet talk and big blue eyes make a poor heart still for me. Drive it wild with a smile and then they'll treat you cruel. I ain't gonna fall for that cause mama didn't face no fool. Give a little love, give a little squeeze and a little kiss. Give a little hug, I want some more of this. Take a little time, yeah, make a little fun.
always said You better run up before you leave well, Maybe so But here I go Let my heart lead me He thinks I want the moon and the star But I think he's a living dream Our few and far our between sing along. That's true. Don't be cruel to a heart that's true. I don't want no other love, baby. It's just you. I'm Jordan Air. Maybe I can do something I might say. Please let's forget the past. Cause the future looks right ahead. Don't be cruel to how that's true. celebration, I think, of love, laughter, music, and life. And 
I've got a couple of girls down here that are looking at me like, what are you wearing? This is my party dress. I can see you talking about me. Why well, don't I name all of our outfits? This is my party dress, and I broke into the Country Music Hall of Fame to, to get this out for tonight, because this is a party. But I mean, did you guys honestly think that somebody that would wear an outfit like this would just like disappear to a farm without throwing some kind of a blowout bash? Well, I think Winona and I love country music more right this minute than we did the day we discovered it because you all have allowed us the last eight years to not only heal our relationship and become best friends, but I think you quite possibly may have saved my life. So this is a, a thank you appreciation party for your love and prayerful support during the farewell tour. I think music allows us to express emotions sometimes that words just can't define. I figured that out when I wrote this next song. I believe that music is the breath of God. I think it's a healer.
something. I want to tell you one thing. <laughs> My mama tried to warn me, so I'm going to say it one more time. Men, all you men out there, stand up. No, you can't live with them. Now all y'all sit down. His letter came this morning, C-O-D. Says he's found somebody who reminds him of me. He says he needed some space. That might be the case. 
He wasn't even man enough to tell me to my face I got the wrong way stomping bad news to live Time. He stole my heart, honey, he really crossed that line Set out a baby, a major felony Go tell that thief of hearts to bring it all back to me I got the wrong way, stopping, baby I guess one own and I are sort of a director's nightmare because we just threw this uh, this song and the next song in. Um, one own and I were totally intimidated by tonight because uh, this is this is very cool, by the way. Looking out and I'm, I see all these people whose names I actually know from all 50 states sitting out here. But I have to tell you all that um, for the last week. It, this almost was not a show tonight. Um, for the last week, there's a terrible flu going around, and my husband and my other daughter, Ashley, were quarantined to the farm, and I've been living in a little motel by myself. And Winona, literally three days ago, had absolutely no voice. And I mean no voice. She's been over at Vanderbilt in the hospital with the doctors. But isn't tonight a glorious night? We have to... Uh... 
We have to realize sometimes that, you know, we're human. I think Mom and I have a long time felt like hope sellers. You know, we get out there on Life's Highway and we live on that bus and we eat in hotels and it's a crazy lifestyle, but the one thing that keeps us going is you guys because it's that one-on-one -on -one human relationship. And I just want you all to know that I've been so nervous I didn't really know what to say tonight. I mean, what can you say about the last eight years that hasn't already been said? But we want you to know that you guys, we will never forget you. And and I want to say to my dear mother, um, she is my light. She is the reason that I can go on because she is healed. She is in remission and she's here tonight. I love you, and you will always be my favorite partner. Well, that's exactly why we pulled out something for us to sit on, because uh, Winona and I are not used to this. This is a big, fat, hairy deal. <laughs> you know, this big mega director named Lou Horowitz, who is just, we've just about given him a coronary, I guess. And, we have a brand new stage tonight. We have different lights. We didn't know what we were doing. And last night, Winona and I were under the most pressure we've ever been under in our life, which is saying a whole lot. And she hadn't spoken a word in three days. We were Imagine just, that. We were, <laughs> kind of enjoyed parts of it, but um, <clears throat> the reason I'm saying this is last night, we left here about a minute after midnight, so it was technically December 4th. And it started to snow outside, and I didn't think we had a show tonight. I didn't think I was going to get to... It was one of the saddest nights of my life, I think. We, we were just feeling totally overwhelmed by, by all this because we're just a couple of little red-headed girls from a small town in Kentucky, and we just don't... I mean, I just looked over and saw Reba McIntyre sitting over here. And <laughs> I see Emmy Lou Harris and, you know, all these... I see Randy over here and all these idols of ours. And basically, all Winona and I know is sitting in a little living room or being on the back porch, you know, and just singing, and just the two of us. So last night as I was leaving, there were a bunch of people standing out in the snow and the cold after midnight that had waited to, to say some things to me. And it was the darkest hour of my life, and as I rolled down the window, they leaned in, and one of you girls out right here said, that we love you and we feel like you're one of our family. And then after that, the tide changed. We decided we had to do this tonight. And the reason I love being on stage is that when I feel these lights, I just imagine it's rays from heaven. And you're the queen of everything. <laughs> well, I guess that makes you the jewel in my crown, my dear, and little Ashley and Larry, whom I haven't even touched or seen all week, are sitting over here. It's always been me, Winona and Ashley, the three musketeers, just us against the world. But now we've got Larry, my Prince Charming, the unseen hero of this little family. Nobody's been able to hug me for a week because of my fragile health. They were afraid I'd get that flu. And right now I just feel like there's this big hug going on. And I, I just wanted to do this song, Guardian Angels, because the Bible tells us they're real. And they're all around us right now. A hundred year old photograph stares out from a thing. And if you look real close, you'll see. Eyes are just the same. I've never met them face to face, but I still know them well from the stories of my dear grandma tell. Elijah was a farmer, he knew how to make things grow. If any vowed she'd follow him. Ever he would go As things turned out They never left 
their small Kentucky farm, but he kept her fed. She kept him warm. They're my guardian angels. I know they can see every step I take. They are watching over me. Might not know where I'm going, but I'm sure where I come from. They're my guardian angels, and I'm their special one. Sometimes when I'm tired, I feel glad to take my own. He says, keep on going hard work, never did a body harm. When I'm really troubled and I don't know what to do, and he whispers, just do your best, we're awful proud of you. They're my guardian angels, I know they can see. Every step I take, they are watching over me. I might not know where I'm going, but I'm sure. A hundred-year-old photograph stares out from a frame And if you look real close, you'll see our eyes are just the same God bless you guys. Man, I wish tonight would never end. Thank you. She calls me the queen of everything. I left my tiara and my scepter out on the bus. If I had it with me, I'd just go bing and freeze this moment in time. You know, I wrote that song about my great-great-grandparents who lived a long time ago back in Kentucky and uh, never in a million years thought that somebody like us would get a chance to meet so many good people. But on the spur of the moment, I called up the man who took us out of the living room around the kitchen table and put us on the radio. This is Mr. Brent Mayer, the man who discovered us. Isn't he cute? You're looking handsome and bulletproof. I, what was it, 70, no, 82, 82? I was working as a nurse in a little country hospital and Winona was still in high school. I took care of his daughter and uh, just fell in love with the whole family. And he started coming by our farm, listening to us. I've never asked you this before, but I've always wondered what in the world you thought about these two red-headed boogie-woogie babes from Mars. I hope it's good. I've been dying to say this for years. I listened to that tape and it absolutely killed me, the little cassette you gave me. But I gotta tell you, it wasn't really your singing. Not that it wasn't good. <laughs> Actually, it was more than good, it was great. But um, what really got me was just the wacky sense of humor. I mean, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> I don't know. They always had that. They always had just a sensational sense of humor, imagination. And, uh, but the real hook 
was a wonderful heart. And uh, that was the deal. Who says you can't combine business with pleasure? And then he brought over one of his best friends, the man who would become uh, our spiritual mentor and who makes all those signature licks on all the Judd records, Mr. Don Potter. <laughs> this was a musical partnership made in heaven, I think. They gave us, we were, they, they gave us a studio and a, a creative environment in which to, to grow. We needed a lot of weeding, didn't we? <laughs> I, I need to re recall this thing. It may be embarrassing for the moment, but uh, there was a small farm on Del Rio Pike near Franklin, Tennessee. And there's a, there was a skunk sleeping under the front porch. And uh, <laughs> you remember this yeah. thing. And I came in on a Saturday afternoon with Brent, and he said, you, you need to hear these girls. You just need to hear these girls. And I came in, I thought it would be just a, your average, you know, listen to a couple people sing, you know, what the heck. Play a little guitar. And there they were with full war paint, ready to do a gig. <laughs> and I just, there we are in the kitchen. I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> this looks great. This okay. Is this is normal. And they started to sing. And I just felt the pleasure of the Lord. That's all I, that's the only thing I could remind. I just said, that just is great. <laughs> you know? And I, I felt to myself, the first thing that came over to me is I need to do whatever I can, whatever that costs me, whatever that means. I didn't have much to give, but whatever that cost, I need to dedicate it to uh, doing my best. Makes you realize dreams do come true. You know, we used to be just like you guys out there, <laughs> crazy. Well, we still are, actually, and I'm real thankful that country music has given us a chance to, well, to be our, ourselves. I mean, I know that a lot of the other country music artists have said this, but we really feel like we've been able to just sing our songs when you guys have really taken us into your hearts. And that means a lot to us because we didn't know any other way. Little did we know back then that this would be put on a record. This was the first song we ever learned together. I think it was, what, 1979, we learned this to sing to my mom. We'd kind of fallen on hard times, didn't have any bucks to buy her a gift. My mom's sitting right over here. The original Jug. But we learned this song to sing to her for Mother's Day. And I think our, mother, our mothers give us the two greatest gifts, life, and she gave me a Christian home. One day a mother come to a prison to see an airy but precious son. She told the warden how much she loved him. It did not matter what he had done. She did not bring to left a smile you can remember she's gone to heaven from heartaches free them bars around you will never change her you was her family and there will be she did not bring No pump nor stars to see. It was a hail of sent down from heaven, the sweetest gift a mother's smile. It was a hail of sent down from heaven. The 
Excuse me, United States of America, but would anybody out there care to do a little bit of rockin' with the rhythm? My goodness, you're a rowdy bunch. Sit there, both swing, let's go to the lock, bring baby knowledge. Baby, just a minute, and you. Rockin' with the rhythm of the rain Slide on over, bear my home closer Move it to the floor, just swayin' like a slow train Rockin' with the rhythm of the rain So let the breeze keep blowin' Women 
still got it. Woo! Come back in. He was the first man to play electric guitar on a Judd record. Isn't that cool? Ever since the day the time began There's been this thing between a woman and a man well, I don't know, but I do believe It started in the garden with Adam and Eve Samson and Delilah have their flame Just cook his hair and clipped his wings It don't matter how the story's told His love station can't control Till she said, Bonnie, go with you. And that's when you met this water moon. Chili bite and Bonnie, go. Fell in love and stole the show. I know they are history, but there ain't been nothing like you and me. Without a hug and kiss, kiss and tender touch dedicate this entire show to uh, a man that Winona and I call the third Judd. We wouldn't be standing here right now. We call him Mr. Big, the chief, big ideas, the king of think, our manager, Mr. Ken Stiltz.
world girls we've got six hairy legged Henri boys that we have been living with for eight years I mean traveling on buses together bad motels even worse truck stop food missed planes but you know what it's been a blast hasn't it baby this guy is Mike Weber he's out of Roanoke Virginia and he's the oldest Judd boy I I should have checked my water. He might put his teeth in it over there. Isn't he a long, tall drink of water? <laughs> you know, you could go naked and drink you a little tomato juice and pose as a thermometer at Halloween, I think. But, I mean, we've been cooped up on life's highways for eight years with these guys. Oh, it's a dirty job, honey, but somebody's got to do it. Lots of miles and memories, hey. Remember when you used to wear all that spandex and we used to dance all night long? Yeah. He's talking about me and Winona going out dancing with all the cowboys. I won't tell if you won't. Ladies and gentlemen, the best musical pals we ever had in our whole life, the fabulous Judd Boys. I love it. 
is real But my past will forever haunt me If you say you don't want me And I'm down on my knees And I'm begging you Please watch you Have a change of heart change of heart I see when I put you through and I'll make it up to you we should have a change of heart oh we should have a change of heart we should have a Let our dream inspire you to dream.
I can't believe that uh, tonight has finally been been here. I feel like this whole year I've been trying to figure out what I was going to say tonight, and uh, I really can't talk. But I got in the mood this morning to try to sing. I haven't sung for two days, and nothing came out. And I thought, Oh Lord, <laughs> it's not going to happen. But the one thing that's perfect tonight is that you guys are out there sharing this with us. <laughs> I couldn't find my shoes. I got the wrong boots on. I don't like the way my hair looked tonight. But we, I got my mom, and I got you guys. And that's all that matters right now. Thank you. I think the most profound things are the most inexpressible anyway. The doctor said that, uh, by the way, I see my friend Larry Gatlin over there. I called him in the middle of the night three nights ago and said, Larry, brother, we need your voice, doctor. Well, I know I can't sing. Nothing would come out. And this doctor opened up in the middle of the night at midnight and saw one and said, you know why she couldn't sing? And then Zimmerman put it in USA Today. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't keep it secret. So The doctor said that Winona couldn't sing People called because she canceled. didn't want tonight to happen. Because she didn't want to lose me. But you're not going to lose me. Mom's going to be my road manager. <laughs> One thing that we've learned this whole year is that life is embrace and release. Embrace and release. You teach what you want to learn. And this is our last professional embrace. This is our last song together. And I want you to know that the deepest source of your identity is not being a Judd. It's not being Hurricane Winona or even my daughter. <laughs> The deepest source of your identity is the Lord. I kind of feel like I've been Cinderella gone to the ball for the last eight years. But now the hour is drawing nigh. I'm going to go home with my Prince Charming. And tonight is not my going away party. I'm not going anywhere. You're the one that's going places. This is your going away party. Just spread your wings and fly. And go towards the light, baby. Go towards the light. Grandpa. Tell me about the good old Sometimes it feels like This world's gone crazy Grandpa Take me back to yesterday When the line between right and wrong Didn't seem so easy did lovers really fall in love to stay and stand beside each other and come for a day? Is a promise really something people forget, not just something they would say?
wonderful, wonderful night. Good night.
gladly walk across the desert with no shoes upon my feet to share with you the last bite of bread I had to eat. I would swim out to save you in your sea of broken dreams when all your hopes are sinking. Let me show you what love means. Love can build a bridge between your heart and mine. Love can build a bridge. Don't you think it's time? Don't you think it's time? That love and only love can join the trials of man. I would give my heart's desire so that you might see. The first step is to realize that it all begins with you and me. this great country these last eight years. And you all are what inspired me to write this song. Love and only power of love 
And I believe there is always hope.